In a world facing the urgent crisis of climate change, we have those people who refuse to be bystanders. Meet Kennedy Wangari and Ian Abuki, the students of Strathmore University who are leading the world in a fight against climate change. My name is Kennedy Wangari, the Secretary General of the Strathmore Student Council, the President of the Strathmore Environmental Sustainability Club, I'm the Secretary General of the Kenya Inter-University Environmental Students Association. When I was young, I wanted to uh, be like Wangari Madai, who I'm named after. Looking around me, I saw there's uh, a lot of degradation, uh, there's a lot of pollution and all these things, and I wanted to play an active role uh, in solving this problem that we have. I'm Ian Abuki Mose. Uh, from Stratton University. So as a leader, uh, my tendency is to solve problems. And uh, during this time and age, the main threat that is a, is a threat to our humanity and also the future of the youths is climate change. And so it's incumbent upon me as a leader to, to engage and to lead at the forefront. Uh, we started off with uh... Uh, adopting 15 acres in Gong Forest with the support of Kenya Forest Service and we planted a thousand trees uh, last year. We planted some in our campus and others in uh, the, the Ngong Forest. We are looking to continue doing that but we need uh, financial support and uh, even human support. We in, in, uh, invited all the stakeholders including embassies and uh, government entities, non-governmental organizations, to speak out about the reservation of the wetland areas, rehabilitating all these uh, wetland areas that are under threat of uh, eradication. We went to the semi-arid areas of Kajiado County, where we involved ourselves in, uh, and their community in itself in planting trees and also cleaning up the environment. So we are trying to integrate our projects with the community in order to have a first-hand uh, effective initiative. We have a green a greenhouse where we grow indoor and outdoor plants for decoration. We have received a lot of support from the admin uh, services uh, department in that regards. Uh, we have also organized capacity building sessions not just for Strathmore uh, students, but also uh, tying all campuses and colleges in Kenya so that we can push this agenda collectively and so that we can be on the same page as we do these things. I believe young people should be more proactive in number one, agitating for the right kinds of policies. Uh, I believe that individuals have a role to, to play but if the system that is in place is not conducive, uh, it doesn't matter what actions individuals uh, do. So I believe that we have to start looking at the problem at the system, systemic level. And as young people, we should organize ourselves, uh, build capacity so that we can create policies and push these policies to the relevant bodies. It can be the county government. Every county government is supposed to adopt a climate change uh, bill. So if you, in your county, the, uh, the government, the county government has not done yet, you have a gap that you can uh, play as a, as a young person to agitate for your county government to adopt this uh, legislation. Number two, um, we should organize ourselves and build our capacity so that we understand uh, what is going on in the world right now. Young people have not put their things in order, then it means that even if you get invited into those places, will be acting as tourists and will not have any substantive agenda uh, to present. So I encourage young people like uh, you and I to organize ourselves into uh, environment clubs, into associations where we can sit down and discuss what is going on. Uh, we can build a capacity to understand uh, what we can do as young people in these processes and to come up with a substantive agenda to present uh, to these bodies. By this year, we are trying to plant 300,000 trees, hopefully, uh, with the, in partnership with the different student council organizations. 
uh, including the University of Nairobi. We've managed to adopt uh, five acre land in Gong Forest where we'll be trying to plant a subsection of trees in those areas in order to cover it uh, with the vegetation. I have to say that's one of the challenges that we face as leaders to mobilize people to come out and actually to fight for this cause of uh, sustainability. So we try to uh, involve the youths by engaging them rather than inviting them to participate. So at the preliminary stages, we make them feel that uh, it's upon them to take action and they are really important in this course. Their contribution will mean something. Be the change you want to see. I want to address the youths. Let's invest in our conviction, in our energy. Let's stand out. Let's be at the front line. Our conviction will actually be a driving force to implement many of our of the commitments that are being made by the implementing actors such as the states the governments and the uh, big uh, companies that are involved in uh, that are in charge of actually implementing them Because so remember, the youth can play a very big role when it comes to dealing with the issue of climate. When it comes to climate, there's no time to waste. My name is Seban Sijaka, and this is the youth. Camp.